Hey mates, welcome to Final Mate. So I'm back with another remastered episode, episode 3.5, where I draw um, subscriber submissions, and I had a lot of fun drawing the submissions. And I actually thought I would finish a lot sooner, so I could upload the video last week. But as you can see, no video because it took me longer than I expected it would take me. So that was a that was a disappointment. And I also did not color um, any of the pieces, I just left them in um, kind of a line art phase um, with shading because adding color and painting and such is also time consuming so sorry for that guys but I, st I will um, still talk about my process. I won't be um, critiquing the art, I will just be um, talking about what I changed in the design and how I what i did like i do in all my remastered episodes only this time it's your art and not mine art i'll leave a link in the description below to all the people who um who entered or whose drawings i redrew i, I got like 10 submissions and from the 10 i selected four sorry for the other people whose drawings i did not select i chose the ones who i thought were best to draw so please don't be disappointed and hate me i will be very sad if you do so the first one was, uh, was from Beast and Pixie and it had a lot of detail her drawing so competing with that was really hard but I tried my best and I went the opposite way that she went. She had a lot of detail while I tried to simplify everything in the drawing and uh, focus on the design. And um, following one design language and um, simplifying your piece can actually be very handy because people can understand it better and it's not too overwhelming with details so keep that in mind when you're doing that and I also added a shadow so that it um, causes or um, indicates some depth in the drawing very simple way to show that your drawing has depth is adding a shadow or something or things that will overlap each other always draw with a 3D mindset that's very important so the second drawing was from Ardis, aka Royal Samurai. Um, Ardis is his new YouTube channel. I actually created the uh, YouTube banner for his new YouTube channel, but I forgot to mention that until now. So check it out. Um, I had a lot of fun drawing his banner and um, his channel is really, it improved. So check him out. And his drawing, there was his drawings for his um, 50 subscriber special video. And I like the drawing, it's very cute. So I tried to capture that in the emotion of the of the the boy of the of the character the manga design and it was kind of drawn in chibi slash manga style and i haven't drawn that in a while i really let go of my manga slash anime style because uh, me like most other artists started out drawing manga and anime and i slowly let that go and began my own thing and i also recommend that because a lot of my um art teachers tell me that um, starting with manga and anime is actually a wrong way and I agree with them and I also disagree with them but I'll talk about that in another video because I can ramble a long time about why it's it has pros and why it has cons the third drawing was actually one of the most fun to draw because I've never really drawn a Disney princess kind of style Let's just say that. I love Disney, especially their 2D animated films. I don't really love all their 3D films. Some of them are good, but the 2D films are like mind-blowing. So it's really cool. And um, I, re I love receiving the submission. So I went uh, on Google, looked up some references for Disney princess um, dresses. And I found this. It's from the movie poster of the new Cinderella movie. I haven't seen it. I probably won't see it. So yeah, but the design uh, of the dress was really fluid and organic, so I tried to uh, copy that in the drawing and in the dress, and I think it um, it really came out. And I also like the colors that um, I think Falifis, Fali sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Art uh, tried to do in his drawing, and but he uh, also focused on coloring, and I did not really focus, or I did not even use any colors, so I really had to... Um, show the design with simple with one color just with shed um with lightness and dark in um, some areas of the dress and really um make the lines move 
uh, in a fluid way and not that the lines go static down so keep that in mind if you want to really draw some cloth and uh, dresses make the lines of the dress and the folds make it fold very fluent and the way you can do that is by using reference go to google and search up some reference of what you want to draw reference is the key to success well that was really motivational i'm i really inspired myself just now to draw i'm gonna stop this video just kidding and the last drawing was from J um, jacob draws and i actually had a i struggled with the drawing because um it was hard for me to understand the concept of his drawing what he was going for it was not as clear for me maybe for you so um i would say work on that uh, make your concept clear but after uh, looking at it i tried to see what he was going for so i i gave it a go and one of the things that also made it um i think a bit unclear for me is you have a lot of things in the drawings overlapping each other and overlapping is good but it must not disturb the image so that's the only advice i can give you for the rest i really um love the concept so keep it up and as you can see in the corner there i'm doodling a design and i'm trying to um grasp that electricity he has around the head of the character but i try to give it a a, a form than rather going um and doodling some lines um, try to capture a design form and you'll see that it will capture more attention and then i brought the opacity um uh, below so you can still see the character so that it's not too overwhelming but still um fits inside the drawing so yeah guys that's um i think all i can say for these drawings uh, I kept it very simple, sorry that I did not upload a remastered last week, but I still uh, uploaded one video, so yeah, I'm still keeping that one video at least a week, promise. And um, I am also very busy with some other projects like my comic and some other secret projects I'm doing um, also for the YouTube channel, but I'll talk uh, more about that if I really have a certainty that it's going somewhere. And if you want to see more of my drawings, be sure to check me out on DeviantArt um, on Google Plus page. I've been posting there a lot more because it's really I'm I'm joining some fun communities that uh, have been supporting me, and so so it's a fun interaction. I'm trying to post on Instagram, but I just can't keep up with social media like Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and let's always stay awesome. Peace.